All right, welcome to this episode. I don't know. I don't even know what we're on right now. Anyways, of Geek Yogurt. It's like six, six, nine, seven, nine. I don't nine? Know. You, you upload them. Nine. Not, we're on nine. We're on nine. Nine. Wow. Nine. 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 Well, nine. It's a big one. Nine is actually what a lot of people have been saying. Not me, but a lot of other people have been saying about Age of Ultron. So here's the deal. We're going to be talking about Age of Ultron in this episode, Pretty which we're splitting into a few parts. We're going to be trying something new. Um, we are going to be as spoiler-tastic as possible. So if you have not seen the movie yet um, no. and you want to avoid spoilers, yeah, um, I'd say skip this one till, till you've seen the movie, then come back and listen to us bitch at each other and, you know, the usual bullshit that we do. But you, this is your warning. You have eh, one warning... Eh. And this is it. Well, besides the title and the description. Shut up. Yeah. You have one warning from me, Wave. Need, needless to say, you've been warned. The rest, if you find if something gets spoiled, that's on you now. So. Yeah, I don't want to hear no bitching. <laughs> I so got welcome no to this episode of Geek so, Yogurt yeah. Podcast. Yep, I'm Wave. I'm Ra Ra. Some. And now. Uh, I'm going to go get my, uh, my dinner. I'll yeah, be right back. Yeah. It's in the microwave. Okay, so I guess we'll just get right into it then. Uh, like Wave said, we're trying to keep these a little more concise than normal, so let's get into it. Uh, went and saw kind of the film. Though. You went and saw it in IMAX. Was I went and saw it in IMAX, Do you think yes. it was better that way? Uh, I don't think so. No? No, I don't think I saw it in IMAX uh, well, the way I wanted to see it. I side, don't think it. Side, side quest while, yeah. while before uh, Wave comes back. Now, that was your kids' first time IMAX yes. theater? Yes. So were they, were they, besides movie quality, were they blown away by IMAX? Oh, yeah. They, they, loved it? they thought it was good. They walked into the theater and, like, this huge screen was there. And, and they were like, just like, oh. well, yeah. Like when we sent, went to see Interstellar. Like, yeah. I had seen IMAX films before, but that's a big screen. Right. When you so. when you first encounter that, you know, the size of the screen, you're, just, you're, you're kind of awestruck, brother. So, yeah. Do you guys have good seats? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, for and that was the other scary thing, too. Because you left a little early to get there, we, right? we got to the theater an hour and a half ahead of time, mm -hmm. okay, because I thought that there was going to be lines. Was it, gonna, was it packed? It was not. Really? It wow. It was not packed. Wow. They told me the evening shows were, we're busy. We're, we're busy, yeah. Yeah, but it, I, I, I would say, I would like to say it was less than half full. Oh, okay. The theater? So, the actual theater. theater? The actual theater. Oh, wow, so yeah. you guys were, were, were good. We had our pick. Well, yeah. less than half full is normally how you operate. Hello. Oh, yeah. uh, By the way, I'm back. Where did that come from? I don't even know yeah, what happened. So there. Waves entered the room, yeah. and so, uh, if you couldn't tell. Enter player four. Yeah. Well, I will say that uh, uh, I know a lot of people opted not to go that weekend because of the the boxing match. I don't even know who's fighting, but apparently... Mayweather uh, and... Pacquiao, Pac-Man, Pac yeah. whatever, yeah. yeah. Well, apparently a lot of people opted to, because it's a $100 pay-per-view, so yeah. they just, they, they spent their money on that rather than... <coughs> but if you watch the movie. hacks, you could watch it for free. Really? Yeah, Not somebody... that we advertise, you know. Yeah, right. Doing so that. they're saying the box office pool was from... The well, it was, de it was definitely a little less than they anticipated. All, one of the things is because that boxing match. Right. I thought that was just an interesting right. thing. But yeah, well, now that Wave's back, we can kind of get into whether we all enjoyed the movie or not. Mm -hmm. I've already spilled the beans a little bit on it. I thought it was for myself anyway. My kids loved it. Yeah. But for me anyway, I thought it was a little bit of a letdown. Yeah. So. I agree. Uh, I didn't hate it, uh, but I certainly didn't love it. Right. Uh, it was just like. I th the secret formula to Marvel, first of all, is that these characters are so great, and they know that we love these characters. I think Joss Whedon has this penchant for, for having these characters interact in ways that are just, it's just highly enjoyable. You know, so there's no, there's no way I wasn't going to leave that movie not having fun, but I still just felt empty and kind of like something was missing at the end. Following up on that, I really... Quicksilver! I didn't really yeah. like, <clears throat> I didn't like Guardians of the Galaxy at all, but no. all that stuff you yeah, talked about... Yeah, but you're an asshole, so, you know... That's beside the point. Besides the point. <laughs> but what you said about characters interacting, I thought a lot of that was absent. To tell you the truth, in 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 Age of Ultron, Ultron? yeah, what? I was actually expecting. What? Were we watching the same movie? I think so. I think the best stuff that they had written in there mm -hmm. was between Scarlet Witch and and uh, Quicksilver. Not Scarlet Witch. Uh, no, 
Black Widow, Black Banner, Widow and, and Banner. Yeah. yeah. Black Widow and Banner and the fight between Stark and Cap. I didn't thought that was the best stuff. Everything else seemed half hearted. Excuse me. Language? Yeah. Wait, wait, you mean I'm sorry, yeah. you the battle between Iron Man and, and Hulk. Right? Well, because you said Iron Man and Cap, and they didn't really have a battle. They had I mean, a battle. I'm talking dialogue. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not like, talking like, like their their like their wood chopping scene. Yes. Where they kind of had a yeah, battle wood of chopping ideals. scene, and then at the end when they're trying to re- to decide whether or not to revive Vision. Yeah. What would be the Vision? Yeah. I thought See, that was I, a great. Scene. I I like those parts too, and I think that was <laughs> cool groundwork being done for like Civil mm-hmm. War. And, like, that stuff works. Mm-hmm. But there was other groundwork that they were trying to lay down for Phase 3, like Thor's, like Thor's quest. Break the rock. Which just, it, it, it was like an Iron Man 2 syndrome, where it just became distracting because you're trying to set up the next movie rather than just taking the time to make the movie that you're doing now better. You All know? Right. So, I want to expand on the, uh, on the Hulk Widow stuff. Yeah. So, here's my take on it. Those scenes could have been a little... More, a little better, the way they were written. <clears throat> they had some issues of awkward dialogue, and I don't mean awkward of oh these characters are awkward and adorable. I mean the way the dialogue is ri- was written was awkward. Right. <clears throat> also, there was there was some unfortunate word placement or, or sen- sentence placement, I should say. Um, namely, when Widow's talking about how she's sterile, yeah, and then immediately has the line about how. So you think you're the only monster on the team? Yeah. I know that they meant for her to be referring to the fact of all the horrible shit she's done makes her a monster, Mm -hmm. not the fact that she's sterile. No. But the way the line placement was, I I understand why some people kind of took it that way. Yeah. I took it that way. That, yeah, that's the thing. Like, and it should it have been? I thought it was. That's I what think, I thought was perfect about. it. I think it was perfect, also, because I know a there lot. There are a of, lot of people up in arms about well, it. Well, I know a lot of women who are sterile and, <clears throat> and and that are our age that cannot have babies, and they feel like they are monsters because mm-hmm. that's a basic, fundamental humanistic yes. thing is to be a mother, and that's 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 what human females strive to do, mm-hmm. and you take well, away that generally. right. Well, yeah, generally. I mean, there are people who just don't want to raise kids, and that's fine. That's fine. But, you know, and t- but the point is that, sh- that she can't have kids, so she's a monster. But it's the fact that she never even had a choice. Yeah. I think, I, I think one of those, that, that plays into it a little bit that, more. I still feel like that conversation was more about, because she has, because she says where because of that, because she is sterile, yeah. she just doesn't care when it comes to killing. She doesn't care when right, it comes right, to doing all that. What, what, is, what else is there, you and, know? Like, I feel that was the intention. Mm-hmm. But even the fact that we can have this debate about what that meant yeah. kind of shows that it could have been done clearer. It could have been, yeah. Um, I, 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 totally. I mean, the follow-up to that was, no, I mean, the, the, pre, the, the conversation prior to that was Banner can't have a relationship because he can't get physical with anyone. Well, that's why yeah. I think these I mean, two are perfect for each other. But I know? think that's why she followed up with, well, I can't be really physical in a meaningful way with anyone either. either oh, yeah. no, no, no. That's I, what I, I think. I, I thought it was really clear. Oh, no, I not, have no ambigu- ambiguity about what they were discussing I'm not saying that there shouldn't, that that was the wrong place for her to mention that she was sterile. Right. All I'm saying is the line about her being sterile immediately followed by the line about her being a monster. Mm. That's all I'm saying was the issue. Mm. They should have had, they should have had the sterile thing maybe a little further up mm-hmm. in that mm-hmm. dialogue. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. That's where it's coming down to me, where it was a little awkward. It, it <clears> de- <throat> their relationship to me seemed like, definitely seemed like it came almost out of nowhere. At the same time, there has been stuff happening since the battle yeah. in New York was not yesterday well, right, in this right, movie. Right. Like they've had interactions off screen. Is that necessarily the best way to, to explain why suddenly they're in a relationship? Not really. No. Because the, the joy of that should really be us seeing it. But to yeah, that's, all, kind of, that's kind of Marvel's <laughs> MO now, is just like not explaining stuff very well. Well, this is the other thing, too. I think, uh, are we watching the same movie? I don't think they had a relationship. I they're they budding were, a relationship. I thought they were doing like the high school thing where there were two kids on the same team that maybe like each other, but don't really know how to express it. They I don't were, think they were going out they on were dates. A little, no, they weren't going on dates, but they were a little further but along than that. They were a lot further along than that. Kids, uh, the, kids bar the, scene, the bar scene? The bar scene at the party? Yeah. 
Yeah, their little they're, interaction they're, there. They're definitely, that was there's fl- definitely flings going on. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're flirting with one another. And, and, not, and I mean flirting not in a su- you know, superficial way, because I think Black Widow was really trying to connect with Banner. Yeah. But that's his that's his moat right there. You know what I like about that is, is this whole dynamic that they did was mm-hmm. uh, where they kind of switched uh, having having the, the this is another thing that I like about this one of the things I like about the movie that I think it did good was it twists conventions a little bit mm-hmm. where they could have easily had the female be uh, you know the love interest or the person who who needs the one being sought who after. needs nature nurturing and everything but you know because it's Joss and he understands that dynamic where you know he made he made Bruce Banner that kind of that kind of damn fool you know not necessarily. Not necessarily Natasha, but yeah, and then he gets the, Hulk, runs away. the Hulk needed the nurturing at that right. point. You know, I, I thought that was a cool little twist of, was, of what normally would be done. I also kind of want to say, because I've seen a lot of people arguing one way or the other on this, yeah. whether they liked it or not. I understand if you don't like it, but to condemn this and anyone who does like the ship of uh, that has be, that has started to happen of Widow and Banner, mm-hmm. if. Your entire reason for not liking it is because she is not with A, Clint, oh, or B, I, I can't stand Bucky. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You, you really sense. don't have a case that, yes, those are your favorite ships. And I'm, I'm there with you. My favorite ship for Widow is Bucky. I'm a Bucky Nat fan, followed by Nat Murdock, and then um, Clint Tasha. <laughs> um, yeah, by the way, I, I have not heard an official ship name for Daredevil and Black Widow. So I, I just went with Nat Murdock. Yeah, that makes, um, that makes sense. It's a good playoff. Most people I've talked name. to have liked that idea. Well, it's a good playoff. But name. yeah, I mean, and all three of those, yes, are from the comics. And also to say that that two characters in the movie verse can't have a relationship that's not also, that's not already in the comics. That's just insane. What a weird critique. You yeah, know? It'd, that's be just, kind, that's such it'd be kind. It'd be weird. Like why? Why complain? Especially why have that be a deal breaker for this movie? Especially you know? when you're not going to complain. Because if you're going to go that far, then why don't you complain about every little thing that's different from the comics? Right. Also, right. Bucky and Natasha in the movie verse would not work. I do not feel it may af it may let's say they started Long down the line, let's say they you know. started it with Civil War. Yeah. Then maybe we if they started the beginnings of it there, then maybe eventually it could work out. But you have to remember in the MCU. They don't have that history. Mm-hmm. It was mm-hmm. Hydra, not the Soviet Union, that dredged him up yeah. and did and did crap to him and made him the Winter Soldier. He never trained her in the Red Room, no. not in the movie verse. Well, so yeah, far the movie as we verse, know, they're, they're, they're two different characters. He doesn't recognize her. She doesn't recognize him. Mm-hmm. Just, and, yeah, that that, that kind of relationship would not work in the, in the movie. That being said, uh, I am really hoping for Bucky redemption and maybe <laughs> even eventually Bucky. Bucky to become Cap. Yeah, I, th- well, I think that's that's where we're going. With, with I'm hoping so. Wars. I would have trouble with any of that stuff, actually. The way they've set up Widow and the way she... I, yeah, has, I wouldn't has, want that in the I movie. Want them, yeah, I wouldn't want her to be with anybody on the team now. Because she's already said that the reason why she's drawn to Banner is because he's not a fighter. And no. that he's not, in theory, a killer. So why would you go... Hang out with some dude that kill has been killing people since yeah. you know World War Two. Well, and, yeah. and, a, and a professional assassin that would make no fucking sense at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I would, you could always write it to make sense, but it wouldn't feel right. I would not mind her and Clint. Mm-hmm. That, as far as the MCU characters go, that would be that would make the most sense. That'd be my preferred. Yeah. Or even if eventually we could get some her and Matt. Mm-hmm. I, I really do but like even that. I, so. I like but, um, I like what they've done with Clint in this and giving, giving him a giving family? him a family, a secret mm-hmm. yeah. family that he's been keeping down low, and then you know having him kind of retire at the end. I oh, think that was also really side good. note on this one to everybody who's mad that Clint has a family in here because this means he can't be with Natasha. He definitely does Again, in the Ultimate Seriously, so. he does? In the Ultimate oh. Series, he does have a family. Uh, so, yeah. you know, I I mean, except I think he's got like three boys or two boys. Yeah, so whatever. It's not the same. Yeah, but, but either way, there is there. That, that source there. And you now I do know that originally it was written for Natasha and Clint to become a thing in the movie. Mm-hmm. And well, they kind of like set and, that up in the first uh, one. Joss. Joss himself actually vetoed it, yeah. Which gets, which also gets into a lot of the Joss hate that's been going around. A lot of 